Thank you for coming this evening to explore uses of low-dose naltrexone for psychiatric anxiety, mental health issues. Uh, my name is Phil Altman. I am one of the pharmacists here at Healthy Choice Compounding Pharmacy. And if you have any questions, please use our chat or hold the questions till the end and we will try and address it. If you have any issues that you would like to hear us discuss during the um, presentation this evening, please use the chat um, forum and we will address those as we move forward. Thank you. We look forward to a great evening. So some of the objectives that we're looking to do tonight is discuss a little bit about LDN or low-dose naltrexone, how it came about, what's it, what is the mechanism of action, some of the indications that you might find it for. And you might find that interesting because it, you'll find out it can even help against the virus that we're treating right now. Some of the research, we'll do a few testimonials and basically what we do at Healthy Choice. A little bit of the history of LDN. LDN's been around since the early 70s, probably before, after these pills. This, is, this picture here shows the depiction of early compounding. Before there was commercially available medications, there were compounders. And it's come full circle now that compounding has become a key component in the medical field today. But naltrexone was a pat early synthesized in the early 60s. Um, really came into play in the early 70s, where it became in as a 50 milligram dose. And they used that for heroin, heroin addiction, um, and drug and alcohol issues, because the 50 milligram dose, as we'll learn, um, gave a total blockade of the opioid receptors. And what that meant for these patients was that they couldn't get high or drunk on their um, medication. And then it was um, early 80s, um, there was a doctor out of Bellevue, Dr. Bahari, who um, was treating AIDS patients. And, and Dr. Bahari discovered that he used about 1% of the dose of LDN, like 0.5 to 4.5. And there was a paradoxical effect. And what that means is that there was an intermittent blockade of these opioid receptors. And what that meant for the patient, by having an intermittent blockade, it blocked what they called these pro-inflammatory cytokines. And as we're going through this right now, this virus is a, a cytokine inflammatory virus. So we feel this can be a piece of the treatment for that or prevention for that. But by blocking these pro-inflammatory cytokines, it blocks systemic inflammation. And inflammate, high inflammation, risk of disease, cancer, um, longevity or lack of longevity, reducing inflammation is the key to good health, we feel. And the other thing it did by having an intermittent blockade was that it made your own receptors more sensitive. So it made them grow more like more limbs or trees. And by doing that, it um, made your body, um, signal to your body to produce more of its own opioids or endorphins which at that point made your body's immune system perk up. So what LDN basically does, it reduces systemic inflammation and it also boosts your immune system. And we'll see this in a video in a moment. In 2007, about 13 years ago, they did a big study at Penn State showing how um, LDN or low dose naltrexone can reduce inflammation and Crohn's disease and help heal. 2009, there was another article on fibromyalgia, all these autoimmune type issues. And I think this is even outdated at this point. There are more than, way more than 230 articles on low dose naltrexone on PubMed. And I think this is a truly great um, saying about low dose naltrexone. It's made by Dr. David Ryan, who was the chief director of Mass General Hospital in Boston Cancer Center one of the top 10 um, oncology programs in the country. And what he's saying is that low-dose naltrexone is a truly functional medicine. Not only does LDN not cure anything, it actually, it actually doesn't treat anything either. I think that's a really powerful statement. And what it does, it simply optimizes your body's ability to go fight the disease on its own. Couldn't we all use a little bit of that? So some of the things that we're here to discuss tonight is anxiety, depression, disorders. Um, depression is one of the leading causes of disability worldwide. 
sadness, irritability, lack of interest. Think of what's going on in the world today with COVID, with everybody is locked in their homes and can't get out. Lack of interpersonal communication, lack of touching. It's really a big component. Um, and people who are borderline with mental health issues, this is really just pushes them over the edge. Um, 46, this is a pretty crazy um, notification that 40, 60% of antidepressant people relapse within the first year, or they might need another medication added on, or they might have to switch. Um, LDN could be a novel approach that are being developed to help these patients. And it can be used with their current medication. They don't have, they, we do not recommend going off what you currently use. So as I mentioned earlier, LDN has roughly a four to six hour blockade of the opioid receptors. There is a, um, what they call a rebound effect. So your body produces more of its own endorphins. As I mentioned, it increases the sensitivity to receptors and it helps upregulate um, the endorphins. One of the things it does specific for psychiatry is it'll enhance your endorphins, which are your endogenous morphine, which will enhance your mood and help you feel better. It decreases inflammation through, through cytokines, through decreasing these pro-inflammatory cytokines, and it'll decrease fatigue for you as well. This is a great book on inflammation in the brain. So as I mentioned earlier, inflammation is the key to good health. And this doctor, Dr. Bullmore says, Inflamed bodies have depressed minds. They go hand in hand. The more inflammation, the more depressed you are. So what is the, what's that telling you? Great way to reduce inflammation. LDN, your diet, exercise, those are all things that can help. So what this doctor is saying, so if endorphins will help improve your immune function and help reduce the cytokine storm, shouldn't LDN help with depression? So endorphins and dopamine go hand in hand. And endorphins um, are your, as I mentioned, your endogenous opiates. They reduce pain, increase pleasure, help with general well-being. That's like after you work out or you're feeling good, you have that great high, the runner's high. That's your endorphins being released. But if you don't have enough endorphins, you're very sensitive, you're crying, you have cravings, alcohol drinking, tobacco, avoidance of painful issues. That's where that happens. And endorphins will enhance your dopamine. And dopamine is that feel-good hormone. So some of the uses in psychiatry, um, we've had great success with using um, LDN as an anti-anxiety type medication being added to people's um, current regime to help them get off of it. Fibromyalgia is an inflammatory issue, so high inflammation, feeling bad, makes a person feel bad. Addiction we've discussed, and chronic fatigue. So because LDN is not a patentable um, type of medication, there are not a lot of large double-blind studies out there. Most of them are smaller studies. There were, um, as I mentioned earlier, the Crohn's disease in 2007 out of Penn State. Um, there was a fibromyalgia study in 2009. And all of these studies are coming up with the same results. That LDN is a, can be a key component in helping people's health. It's not the only piece, but it's a key piece. And just a couple of years ago came out, there was an article in the Journal of Affective Disorders Again, small articles, small uh, population size, similar results. And these are about quality of life. I think more important than anything, it's about um, giving patients quality of life where LDN can promote positive emotion states and improve overall quality of life. That's what this study um, from Dr. Uh, Brown had, dis had discovered, and this was down in 2008. Dosing. LDN is a really patient-specific type of dosing. A lot of people will just start at three to five milligrams. Our 
our thought process or our approach is really about a customized or um, individualized approach. And one of the things that we came up with was, as you can see here, is what we call our low-dose naltrexone starter pack, where the physician has the ability to start or stop the patient at any dose they want or titrate them as quickly or as slowly as they want. Um, LDN is usually taken in the evening. It'll help with sleep. Um, one of the, the two major side effects that they're finding with LDN is sometimes people get vivid dreams. And if that's the case, they can take it in the morning. Some people do get headaches um, and then they just have to retitrate a little bit slower. Um, but the side, of, the side effect profile is really a strong side effect profile. Only about 85% of the patients do really well on this. The other component with using low-dose naltrexone is it should not be used with pain medications such as Vicodin or other opiates because it'll have that blockade on there. So it might make their um, other pain medication less effective. But we're currently working with a pain, uh, patient who's been on uh, hydrocodone for many years and he's using his, we're starting on a very, very low dose of low dose naltrexone at night. And he's not using his pain medication at night, but during the day. And we're able to help him bridge that gap. Most people will see uh, start to see benefits within a few weeks, but it's really two to th it's usually about three to six months where they will um, see the full benefit because you have to remember that what this low dose naltrexone is signaling your body to reduce inflammation and enhance its endorphins. This doesn't happen overnight, so it's a matter of a slower approach to be take to for your health. And this is what we do at um, Healthy Choice Compounding Pharmacy. We work with you and your physicians to try and come up with the best plan of action for your health. It's a real individualized approach, and we try and give the physician more tools in his toolbox to help you. And it's really about coming up with different dosage forms. We've made low-dose naltrexone in a liquid. We've made it in a topical cream for autistic children if they can't swallow so the parents can put it on them at bedtime without them even knowing they were being dosed. And the key is putting this all together on the same page. So we are all speaking the same language and ultimately trying to get the best results for you. If you want more information on low-dose naltrexone, you can go to LDN Research Trust, our website. We are a great resource. We have some videos. The LDN book is also a great um, resource tool for you as well. Now, if you have any questions, please, um, if you haven't put them in through the chat, please do now, and we will address them for you. Thank you, and we hope to see you next month on our next um, presentation.